everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing great. Today, I'm doing my review of the Glary GT304. This is like a $44 guitar you can get shipped directly to you. No shipping charge, $44. Check it out. Well, you may have already seen my unboxing video of this where I unboxed it from the packaging which uh, it was not great packaging. So check out my other video on that if you wanna see what it comes uh, like when it arrives at your door. But uh, Glary reached out to me a while back and asked if I would review uh, one of their guitars, told me to go on their website and pick out whatever guitar I want. And I decided I would try to get like the cheapest, decent looking guitar I could find. So this was like, my goal was to, to go in there and, and spend the least amount of money as possible with something I would actually play. So um, I decided to end up going with this, the Glary GT304 made in China. So I'm gonna do a full review of this. So this video, I'm gonna kind of be critical on uh, things. I'm gonna point out the positives and point out the negatives. And I'm, most importantly though, on a review like this is I'm pointing the things out in context of the the price point that it's at. So in other words, if this was a $500 guitar, then you know something that would be just kind of like a negative would be highlighted massively as a negative. But in here, you know, you kind of have to take everything a little bit with a grain of salt. So um, let me just kind of go over first impressions. This is. It's actually, believe it or not, I could play this guitar. If I had to, if I was sitting around a campfire, uh, if someone said, hey, you need to, I'm a, a praise and worship leader, you need to lead worship with this with a group of people, I would be like, not a problem. Let me give you some close ups here. This is the, the headstock. Glary, G-L-A-A-R-Y, trademarked. Got to make sure you trademark that or register it. Let's just start from the top down and we'll kind of talk about it. I will say that actually I kind of don't mind the headstock. I think it looks okay. The tuners on here were surprisingly good tuners. Uh, usually, actually still got the plastic on the back of one of these, or on, on these. Usually tuners are the type of thing that uh, would be the first thing that is the cheapest possible that they would use. And actually, these are decent tuners, believe it or not. I mean, I guess maybe the, they're getting better at making the, the cheap tuners, but um, I'm gonna say good job on you for the tuners, because these are, these, are, these are decent tuners, believe it or not. Um, moving from there, the nut itself, it looks like it's, it's cut okay. Granted, this is probably, you know, this is not gonna be your main player. If you're a professional musician, this is not the guitar for you. I'll tell you who I think that this guitar is for. Um, so let me take a step back. I think that there's there's two people that, that would really get a benefit from this. The first is if you are a guitar player and you're wanting to learn how to do setups, learn how to work on guitars, um, this would be a great instrument to buy and then just fix it up, like do things to it that you're like, I don't really know, really know what I'm doing. Um, and so in other words, like if you're, uh, I just got a, a new set of nut files. I've never used nut files before. I've done tons of setups and things, but I've never purchased, um, nut files that, you know, they cost almost a hundred bucks. So I, I finally got those for my birthday. I'm going to try to recut this nut first. You doing it as like a practice thing. So I think that there's a benefit for that. Um, dressing fret ends, uh, we'll get to, to how good they are in a second, but dressing fret ends, um, maybe even like filing down the bridge, adjusting the truss rod. I've got a, a pickup that I'm gonna install on another guitar. I've never installed a pickup before. I'm probably gonna install it in this first and then see how it goes and then take it out and then put it in the other guitar. So there's there's a that's a big benefit here because you're you're not going to 
uh, you're not gonna you're not losing a whole lot of money with this $44 shipped to your your house so that's the first thing that, that this would be a benefit for somebody wanting to work on guitars the second benefit and this is a tricky one uh, I almost I'm kind of on the border on this but I'm leaning towards yes this would be good for this person is a very very beginner wanting to play a guitar and the reason why i'm kind of on the fence on that is I've, I've kind of been of the school thought that you need to have a decent instrument like that it's not going to have any issues to play uh to look to learn on okay obviously you don't have to go out and buy a tailor uh to learn how to play acoustic guitar but um in the acoustic guitar world it seems like there's less options for cheaper entry-level guitars that are decent than there is in the electric world. You can go buy a Squire Stratocaster and learn to play electric guitar. You go to a pawn shop, you're going to spend 75, 80 bucks on one. It's not as easy on acoustic guitar. Also, um, when you're learning as a very beginner, you don't know what's wrong. You don't know that the action is really high. You don't know that it's difficult to play because you don't know what it's like to play a, a really good instrument. So that's why I'm saying I think that this is on the, it's right at the cusp where this is good enough for a beginner to learn on or to at least see if they, you know, this is something that I want to continue, but it's not something that would, it's going to be like your, your main player. It's not something that's going to grow with you. For example, you got a 10 year old kid. They say, I want to play guitar. I want to learn to play acoustic guitar. This might be a good option. The reason is 44 bucks. You know, they get to open it up. It's exciting to open up something new. It's exciting to open up something, especially as a kid. They're like, oh, this is mine. This is my guitar. It looks, you know, at a, at a glance, as my grandmother used to say, it's not something you'd notice on a galloping horse. You know, it looks, you know, if, if, if somebody didn't know any guitars and you held this up for three seconds and you held up my Taylor uh, 314 for three seconds, you wouldn't be able to necessarily tell the difference. Um, it, it's a, they're completely different ballparks as far as price range is concerned, but it would be nice, a nice gift for somebody that's starting to learn out or starting to learn. Also, it's for 44 bucks, that's the price of a couple of guitar lessons. That's like the price of one guitar lesson. Like if, I'm, if I was charging right now for guitar lessons, I would charge $40 an hour. So, I mean, basically for the price of one guitar lesson, you could have your guitar. So the reason why I say that, so take another step back. I had a student, this was a number of years ago, probably early 2000s, and he came in and wa really wanted to learn guitar. He was about 10 years old, and the guitar that he was learning on was a guitar that they had bought, his family had bought, I think like on a Cancun vacation, like in a, in a, in a shop that really was not a good guitar. Um, these, and he learned, he played, took lessons for like three months, uh, to the point where I actually bought him a guitar. It was around Christmas time. And I was like, I, I feel so bad for him. That time I was charging $25 an hour. Um, you know, and he had taken three months of lessons. I thought, man, you, you could have a $300 guitar by now. I actually bought him a guitar and was going to give it to him for Christmas. And then his parents bought him a guitar for Christmas. And I, so I was like, okay, I don't want to show up his parents. I didn't give him the guitar. Um, but that being said, this would have been a much, much, much better instrument for him to learn on. So it's not at the level where it's like worthless. It's right at the, the kind of the sweet spot of really inexpensive. Um, and, and you might be good enough to learn on that being said, it would not surprise me if six months from now, this bridge, you know, pops up and, uh, you know, comes unglued or six months from now. You know, there's a, a crack that develops somewhere or something goes wrong and it's basically you got to toss it so that's kind of my caveat on all of that let's get back to the review i'm going to go through all the different things uh but that's that's basically you know the reason why i go into all that because if you're looking to buy this guitar those are my thoughts on it you know i could all day long say you know here's this and here's that and, but really it comes down to it is i think that when you're watching a review like this you want to know is who is this for and is it for me and so I think that if, if you're in the, the sub $100 budget, actually they, they have some other guitars that are closer to the $100 range that I imagine are a little bit better quality. I guess if you're in the sub $50 range, 
you're not gonna find anything better than this. Compared to like the first X that you buy at Walmart, they're like 50 bucks. This is a very, very good guitar. The, the, this is far better than those. Okay, so we left off at the headstock. Um, the nut, it's okay. Um, I would probably file it down a little bit more. Um, it's a little high on the action. Uh, the, the nut is causing that to be. Uh, the action itself is, is okay. I think that, um, I don't know what strings these are on here. I imagine they're they're pretty pretty light because this is pretty easy for me to play. It wouldn't be a problem for a beginner to learn on, on this. Um, the frets themselves are, are pretty sharp, especially up here as you get up towards the, the top part on this. Uh, of course, as a beginner, you're not gonna be playing too much up and down the neck. Uh, you'll notice that the, the fretboard itself is very dry, uh, powdery. It's almost like there was, this was made and like somebody took like baby powder and blew it on the, on the fretboard. I'm gonna just flick my finger here and show you. Like just with a little bit of, a little bit of, of uh, wetness. That's, that's, you know, if you were to treat this, that's what that fretboard would look like. Uh, if, you, if you oiled it up with a little bit. The small details that don't matter on a beginner guitar, they're not great. You know, at the 12th fret, these dots, you know, they're, they're off center. They're, they're not, not great. Um, the, the rosary doesn't fit around this. Like you can see that it, it doesn't s stop here. And I, I think they might've even, I don't know when they put this on, it, it, I don't know if it's even set at the right spot as far as the, the neck, because uh, it seems like it should be going back further all the way uh, to the, the sound hole. I'm comparing my other acoustics I'm looking at, that that's kind of what they've, that's kind of what other guitars do is go all the way through to the sound hole. So that kind of looks, doesn't look quite right. That being said, the intonation as you go up higher is still not bad. Um, you know, when it, it, it could be a lot worse. I was expecting it to be a lot worse, the intonation as it goes up. So I think more or less the scale length is, is good uh, going on up. The nut, I'm very surprised. I mean, it's just plastic. And by the way, this is a very, very, very cheap plastic nut. It's not uh, great in any way. I'm gonna use my, my phone here and you can kind of, kind of see right here, you know, as I was, you can even see like the plastic coming up, it's rubbing up there. It's not a uh, great plastic, but it is a compensated saddle, which is um, kind of cool that it would actually be, you know, on here that they would have a, a compensated saddle on a really, really cheap guitar. I guess if it's just some form fit saddle, it you know, might as well do it that way. But um, so on one way, that's really cheap plastic so it's not the best, but it, for intonation, it's actually pretty good. You can see there's a lot of, there's like, uh, you know, an area here looked like it was drilled out. Let me grab the phone again. It was like drilled out right there. And you know, it's all scratched up. Those scratches were not from me. Um, you can you can see that it's, it's pretty, it's pretty used. Um, it looks like a used guitar right off the, the, right out of the bat. Okay, the finish on it is okay. But I, th I mean, it, it, well, the finish on it's not great. But like I said, for on a galloping horse, you're not going to notice it. There's a big run right here. Um, let's see if that even comes. You can see it right there. It's discolored. There's a there's a run um, in the in the finish there. On the the back side here, there's a bunch of cracks. Let me see if I can get those to to come up. You can see it. There, 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 there. It's cracks right there on the the bottom here. There's cracks. Those are finished cracks. I don't think it's the wood. Um, again, you know, not something that that you're really going to notice. the The craftsmanship is not the best, obviously. Now, again, your ten year old kid is not going to care or notice those things. Um, and actually. It's kind of nice that if they just kind of throw it over and it gets a ding or something happens, oh well, not a, not that huge of a deal. Um, now the the biggest negative that I saw with this is inside here is in the bracing. 
and let me just show you, let me see if I can get in here with this. This is the, the brace right there, and you can see it's split already inside the guitar. That's not good. Um, that being said, the way that this one's split, it's not rattling all over the place. I don't know if you can even see it like, like in there. Um, usually when a, a brace splits like that or comes loose, you can hear it rattle. The, uh, and then if you look, let me try to get an angle in with this. That back one is also split there. So we've got two split um, braces. So that's not good that it, there would be a split uh, there. It does have a truss rod, which is nice. So um, you can make some adjustments. Like I said, this would be a great opportunity if you're like a, a wannabe luthier or wannabe report, repair guy great guitar to break a truss rod on, you know. Other than that, other than that, I'm, I'm pretty amazed uh, at how good this sounds. Not a whole lot of low end, um, which is to be expected, I guess. Um, perhaps those braces would, if they were glued in, might be able to resonate a little bit more, but. That being said, I think, um, I stand by my conclusion that this would be good for a beginner or somebody wanting to work on, work on guitars. Um, it does come with this also, which you, I don't really care if it gets scratched up or not, but you can glue this or sticker this on there if you wanted to. Um, and also mine came with a strap and a pick and they must have put in the wrong one because mine came with a, a patch cable and a whammy bar. Cause you know, your, your guitar has got to have a whammy bar. So I assume at the factory, they just, accidentally threw in the uh, threw in the wrong bag with uh, this, this belongs to a Strat, which most of my guitars are used. And so even like this Strat here, I, I don't, I've never had a whammy bar for it. Um, so I'm actually thankful that they threw that in there. But anyway, the GT304 from Glary, I love it, it says, Sounds of nature. That's like the, <laughs> the glary sounds of nature. Um, awesome. GT304. Pick one up if you want to. See what a $44 guitar is like. Shipped to you directly from China in possibly the worst packaging ever. But it got here in one piece, kind of. And it is cracked up a little bit. But anyway, Ken Russell out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. If you are this far into the video, Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and uh, help me make more content like this. Anyway, Kenneth Russell out. I'll see you in another video.